Welcome to uh, Mathematics with Ams, Grade 12, DBE 2022, Final Paper 2, Question 1. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Right, Question 1, which of course is based on statistics. The matric class of a certain high school had to vote for the chairperson of the RCL, that is the representative council of, of learners. The scatter plot below shows the IQ or the intelligence quotient of 10 learners who received the most votes and the number of votes that they received. So this is a scatter plot. And before the elections, the popularity of each of these 10 learners was established and a popularity score out of 100 was assigned to each. The popularity scores in the number of votes of the same 10 learners who received the most votes are shown in the table below. So you must calculate the mean number of votes, the standard deviation of the numbers, the learners who received fewer votes at one standard deviation below the mean were not invited for an interview. How many learners were invited? Determine the equation of the least square regression line for the given data in the table. Predict the number of votes that a learner with a popularity score of 72 will receive. Using the scatter plot and table above, provide a reason why IQ is not a good indicator of the number of votes that the learner could receive. And the prediction, the prediction of question 1.1 is reliable. So the first question is mean number of votes that these 10 learners received. Now, how do we do that? So you go to the column or the row for number of votes and you add up all those values. 9 plus 22 plus 10 plus 21 plus 11 plus 15 plus 20 plus 12 plus 19 plus 16 and you should get 155. Then you divide it by 10 learners so therefore the answer is 15,5. 1.1.2 standard deviation of the number of votes that these learners received. Now of course there is the grade 11 method which takes much longer or you can, if you use the sharp calculator, what you do is look at the example I have there. Then you key in where you are. You first uh, go to the mode called StatX. That's the mode. Do this by pressing second function and then one. This mode will give you the possibilities. Then you key in all the values. Look at the example there. The example is 44, 49, but you must do 9, 22, and 10. So you key in all those values, right? And then, of course, the data button is the same as the M plus button. Then you get your R, then you press RCL, and you should get your standard deviation. So the answer is then 4,59. Please Practice using this example I gave you, and you should be able to get the standard deviation. Right, question 1.2. The learners who received fewer votes that one, than one standard deviation below the mean were not invited for an interview. How many learners were invited? So what you do is you take the, the mean and you subtract the standard deviation. So in the previous question, the mean was 15,5, and now we subtract the standard deviation, which is 4,59. And that gives you uh, the answer of 10,91. Then how many learners? Well, 10 minus 2 gives you 8 learners. Then 1.3, determine the equation of the least square regression line for the data given in a table. So again, if you forgot how to do it, look at my example, where I use a sharp EL531 calculator. Please work through the example to see exactly how the calculator must be used to get to the answer. Please follow this example. And of course, in the memo, the answer is therefore... Uh, 1,77 plus 0,22x. Right, 1.4, predict the number of votes that a learner with popularity of score of 72 will receive. So what you do is then use a formula for the least square regression you've obtained in the previous question. 
and then you just do your substitution of 72 into the x value and you get 70,61 which run up to 18 volts 1.51 uh, using the scatter plot and the table below provides a reason why IQ is not a good indicator of the number of votes that a learner could receive we are look at the answer points are all scattered you can see there's no pattern so therefore there's a low correlation so there's no negative there's no positive because the points are all if you look at the sketch the points are lower so it's all scattered and that is an indication indication that it is an unrealistic prediction now the prediction in question one before is reliable well you must first work out the correlation coefficient if you look at my example in green there you forgot how to do it just go through the example there and see can you work out the correlation once you got your r value and now you can predict now the r value is 0 0.98 which is very close to one so that means it's a very strong correlation so therefore it is real reliable prediction This is uh, Mathematics with Amps, Ahmed Suleiman. Please give me a huge like and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.